Right, in this video I'm taking a little bit of a departure from fixing cars and uh, doing work on a computer. This one I'm showing you how to paint in acrylics. Now, saying that, showing you how to paint, I rarely do ever paint in acrylic. Uh, but I consider myself pretty good with all sorts of other paint, so I don't see why not I can paint in acrylic or not. So as you can see, I've already outlined this uh, this this large canvas in colouring pencil. Uh, now I don't recommend using normal pencils because they kind of go shiny when you photograph them. So colouring pencil is my preferred choice now, or it could be something like charcoal would be quite good. Right, so I'm using a reference, and I'm using my HD TV, not HD, 4K TV. Uh, using references uh, of photographs I've taken whilst I was on holiday. Um, so here's a full frame kind of image of what I'm going to do. Apart from on the right hand side, it's actually going to. I'm going to have to make some of the bits up to fit the canvas. Uh, to scale it, all I did was measured measure the height of that against the height of the actual canvas. I divided one number by the oven and then so I've got a factor of I think 3.125 and I multiply everything by 3.125 and I kind of just what I do is I find um, vanishing point I've got another bit of paper here this is my vanishing point here it's kind of faded so all the lines like there will kind of meet these lines will meet a vanishing point I kind of work that one out and I scale it because it's such a large canvas very easy to confuse so using my scaling factor, whatever it is on the screen, say for example here's a marker there, I'll multiply by 3.125, uh, areas like this, and like this on the corner. Uh, you can, you're not going to get it completely right, I think if you look carefully, there's a bit of a mistake running, but I think it was, um, uh, I don't know about where these, these windows are, they don't match with the, the actual, not quite. It don't matter, no one knows, uh, only me and you. Uh, so this actual painting, I think I'm going to call it something like um, uh, organic cables, because I really like it, I really like the way the, um, we look at the original, we really like the way the, um, the cables kind of twist and turn into the, uh, here is another closer up picture that I did whilst I was on holiday, so uh, it's a reflection from from the window, I'm trying to get it stand up so the reflection is gone. So you can see the way the, the cables twist and turn and grow into the um, almost I don't know which one's growing into what kind of. And that's what's intrigued me about this uh, this place. And this place is actually Corfu. Can't remember whereabouts. Corfu town maybe. So various pictures. Oh, not that one. That, oh, that's an interesting one as well. Alright, so first stage, pencil it all in. Make sure it's measured, pencil it. I'm gonna do do this technique. Uh well I'm gonna do the background first. And the most background background is this blue sky. It's not exactly the same as the blue sky on the screen there. Uh but you never know, I can't remember which one's more true. And uh so if you look here well I've made a mistake, it kinda of, is a bit shiny, well kinda of rubbed it out, rubbed out the pencil. And uh, I'll have to do. I'll have to go over again. And the, the the strokes I made were all horizontal, by the way, on the blue sky. The sky always deserves a horizontal kind of strokes, unless it's kind of you're trying to portray some sort of vicious kind of weather or something. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the the other kind of backgrounds like this. Uh, so even if I'm doing such backgrounds like this, I'm going to start with a background, 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 which is the window, and I'll work outwards from the window, and. Uh, and the last probably bit I'm going to do on here is <clears throat> this bit here, this building. Uh, and the top of that roof is probably the very last bit I'll do. Um, now I'll kind of work forwards, forwards all the time. Uh, although I say now I'm really interested in doing this window here. That really intrigues me. I want to do that as well quite soon. Uh, what am I using? It's really, really cheap paints. Um, so... Cheap stuff I picked up from, I can't remember what they call that store, the um, the chain store that does all the art, arts and crafts. 
can't remember this is 25 pounds and like and I uh, supplemented by adding loads of blues and oh, yeah another thing I do I've got buffalo blue cobalt blue primary blue ultramarine and this is ultramarine in powder pool and I'm always always trying to look for the real proper ultramarine that you get from Afghanistan and when I was a when I used to paint in the 80s um, you know I really experienced the real ultramarines and they were they were from the, the variety from Afghanistan and they they like they got a kind of fluorescent kind of look to them if you look at old paintings uh, old paintings of churches uh, you know, of some I don't know some maybe a painting that was in a church if you have a look at them look at the blues in that and then and you'll see what I mean kind of fluorescent blue but these are all kind of fake ultramarines but I have plenty of blues because I think of all the colours, the blue, the blue colour is one of the most important with all the various varieties there because you can't really make another, uh, you can't make some colours without having having uh, the right blue to start with, you know what I mean. So I've got a big tube of white and this kind of, I don't know what you call it, kind of earthy kind of colours there. Various amount of brushes, notice I've got the palette knife, I will probably use that to mix. And I've got more brushes here and I've got my old um, oil painting kind of palette from the 80s and something like this loads of fresh water keep changing that all right so uh, trying to uh, what oh, another thing on this painting this the uh, areas in the background will be kind of smooth color I'm gonna try and bring out some kind of rough kind of bits in the front where every single little pebble in the wall whatever it is little plaster is going to be as taken much care of in terms of uh, detail as I can and eventually I want to sell this painting well I want to bring, get this painting into the uh, Royal Academy summer 2018 um, don't know might make it I'm not going to sell it for cheap because I'm going to put a lot of work in all right next stage I film I'll film next stage uh, once I've probably done this and uh, maybe this. Alright, 